the second movement of Clementi Sonata in C, opus 36, number 1. <clears throat> An andante movement in the key of F major. We will notice the new key signature with the B flat. So we'll need to orientate ourselves into F major. And of course find out where this modulates to in this piece. We notice that this is now three in a bar, andante. Um, the tempo perhaps is a walking tempo, so step, sort of step, 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 gentle walking tempo. But I'm sure there are lots of different tempos. I'm playing from a quaint ancient Peter's edition here, which has a lot of romantic slurs in that. So it would be good in another video to look at the different editions that we have for this piece to inform our interpretation a bit more. But let's look at the rhythm. So we have three beats in a bar. We need to be able to count the triplets. One, two, three, to clap and count as well. Um, some people count them one and a two and a three and a one. Some people use triplet, 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 triplet. Then when we have, we could have, when we have a quaver, we could have. We don't have one in here, but if we had sort of quaver, quaver, triple, triple. Some people use words like chocolate, chocolate, but that would be very bad to have chocolate on your piano. I don't eat that. So let's look at um, the, the rhythm. We need to be able to, as I said, look at, uh, count the rhythm, even when we're playing the long notes. One and a two and There, the right hand is moving in crotchets and minims, quarter notes, half notes, and then it moved into the triplets. We want to make sure we can be very accurate with that. Um, the fingering is quite important. Uh, in the left hand, the chords, you can find your normal triad fingering. So I think here I would start with 5 3 1 for my F major chord in root position, and in bar 3. get to my C chord, I'd go 5-3-1 because it's all very near next door. So learning the left hand, is that's a very good way to learn the left hand in chords. We can even when we're practicing sometimes hands together, practice. One. So you want to look at the chords in some places like bar 14 in the right have three chords in the bar. This is the dramatic. So look at those carefully as we go towards G minor. Sort of a rhyme in G minor. It's dramatic middle stuff. Um, again, you can just chunk that as chords. Another place, perhaps, is bar 11 where you could chunk the chords as it arrives in bar 12 back in sunny C major but doesn't stay there very long because we've gone straight away to sad old C minor. Um, so learning the chords is important. Now you'll notice in the melody uh, there's a couple of things in the right hand, that's really just using your normal F major notes, F A C F. What about when the melody comes back again in bar 19? Where's the surprise? One. That note doesn't belong. That's the sort of very expressive one. It takes us temporarily to this B flat chord. So if you're learning your first four bars right hand, make sure you compare them with the equivalent four bars right hand at bar 19 to bar 22. <clears throat> 
Also, you'll notice in the right hand, you have parts which are little scale fragments. And then it goes to chord technique. That was in bar 6. Where's another one? That one was descending one in bar 6. What about bar 10, an ascending one? And there you see, of course, the B natural. These scale fragments don't always have the same fingering. This is F major. Doesn't really work with F major fingering. This edition has quite a good fingering. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 5. So be careful to work to find good fingerings that work with those fragments. This one here in bar 10 is particularly interesting. 1, 2, 1, 2. What sort of thing is that playing scale? 1, 2, 1, 2. It doesn't make any sense. But it does make sense if you go further. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. It gets you into position there. So look for those sort of um, interesting things with the scale fragments. For example, bar 13. That's quite easy. Bar 15. So we need to look at those scale fragment fingerings. Also in the left hand, bar 18. That. The scales might be little fragments, but we need to, they won't always work with the normal scale fingering. So ask your teacher or look carefully at that. Um, also, we have repeated notes. One thing that's very important here is you is the melody or comes out of the left hand. So we've had our one. See the melody sort of emerges. And my addition here has one, two, three does the repeated note technique on those on those same the same note repeated F it goes five four five three to the D and then the next bar five four five two which works quite well so you need to learn make sure that that's going to work it allows you to play it quite smoothly this does have a slur over it without the pedal and the next one Play five, it's a little bit more difficult smooth. Much harder to get that sort of smooth sound using five. I have to move along the keys, do a lot of gesture. Whereas if I go five, four, five, three, five, four, five, four, that might work quite well. Also, so that's one place where you have the repeated notes, da 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 da, and you might want to use the fingering change technique. Another place you might use that is bar 13, where we have in the, in the sad or dramatic middle section where we have repeated C's. I would go 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, which is funny. It's 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, but on the repeated. That sort of technique makes you do a good gesture. Make sure when you're practicing that that you're next finger is coming in to take over the same spot where the previous finger was on the key. It's no good if one plays here and one plays here. They've got to take over the same spot and come in. Your hand will move around to let you do that. Um, the same thing will happen in bar 15 where we have repeated B flats, but here I think the better fingering on the one I've got is 4, 3, 2. So bar 13 on the C, 3, 2, 1. Bar 15, sorry, on the B flat. 4, 3, 2. But we've also got in the melody where we have double melody. Unless you've got more than five fingers on your hand, it's very difficult to do a big fingering change on that because then you'll run out. So something like that in bar 17, 5, 3, 5, 3, 5, 3, 5, 3, 4, 2, 3. So we have to use a gesture and move along the key so that that is going to sound legato. without the pedal so we can really hear the articulation there. Um, 